Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Fish Network and today what? I'm showing you this little bit, little program, application, however you want to tell it. Uh, a team viewer, quick support. Oh, I will use it on Windows operating system. Uh, you can use this uh, tutorial also for other operating system. So basically in this video I will show you how to download and run this application. So you can access your computer, your desktop laptop computer from some other device like smartphone, tablet, laptop computer, desktop computer and so on. You can con uh, remotely control uh, the screen, you can type, you can move the mouse and many other options. So, if you want to know how to all, do all of this in this short video, stay tuned, I'll be back in a few moments. So first we need to download the SteamViewer Quick Support Tool. Let's open up uh, uh, Google search engine or whatever search engine you want, type in viewer press enter and now you can click the first link you see www.teamviewer.com slash download or you can go to home page of teamviewer teamviewer.com here you can download on uh, in two ways just scroll down and click download quick support I will right click on it and save link as because i want to save it directly to desktop click save uh, the other way to download is to click the download site just scroll down and click download quick support if you are at home page just scroll down and download quick support this but and now team viewer quick support is downloaded Let's take it right here and let's run it as administrator. Yeah, it is unnecessary, but I will do it. You can just uh, open it by double click. And now we need just to wait a little bit till TeamViewer Quick Support is opened. Full version of TeamViewer have many many more functions and uh, you can control some other devices and the other device you can uh, control your device in both ways so if you like to try download full version I will in my Android device as you see on the right side I will just type in ID which is your ID right here And I will cl click remote control. Wait a little bit and the program asks you for a password. Just type in the password that you see right here under password and click OK. And as you see, I typed in wrong password. And here we go, you can now control it, you can go here, you can click on it, double click, you can search it, and on the end I will just click X right here to close connection, and if I really want to close the connection, I will click close. If I click cancel, you can control it further. And that's it. So that was it for today. I hope that you learned something that my videos is understandable enough. But in other case, if you have any any questions about it, if you did not understand something or you want to just comment this video or whatever, just type your question, answer whatever down below this video in comment section. Uh, the last thing I want to say is don't worry, be happy, 
smile and have a great day. If you like the video, of course, give thumbs up, comment the video, share the video with your friends, co-workers and so on and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a nice day, bye bye.